Hi, welcome back. Uh, it's been a while and um, I, did do, I have decided to do, uh, shoot a little video about uh, the JFX client changes and uh, I want to show you some other changes I've made to the web interface and um, show the interactions between the client and the web interface and the interface on other devices. So as you can see, um, the client has changed. Uh, you can uh, set backgrounds uh, now. Um, the windows have been changed because I got a lot of remarks that the old windows were a little bit messy. Uh, some features were added like um, a media player which is connected to XBMC uh, which you can see over here. Uh, having playlists so I can press uh, I can press stop uh, I can press play uh, where it will show the current playing song in the player as well as in the playlist. Uh, it shows the amount of playlist items over there. So if I remove one uh, or two, you can see the items have changed. And even uh, the amount of items are changing in the list. Over here, so um, now as you can see, the windows have been changed. They're a little bit m uh, less messy, in my personal opinion. Um, if others think the same, well, I hope so. Uh, the scroll bar has been made a little bit bigger. Uh, the close buttons are a little bit bigger, so it's a little bit more uh, touch friendly. And um, well. Other stuff just uh, stays the same, like uh, uh, well, the drag and drop and everything you've seen in the other little movie. So what I'm going to do now is um, show the new web interface and the interactions with the client. Uh, some other addition to the client is it can be uh, ran in different modes. So you have now a full desktop mode with icons and windows. And what you can do with settings is say, let's go to another display mode. Let's say the widget mode. Save it. And when I close this, and I'm gonna uh, restart the application again because at this moment you have to restart it. Uh, one little moment. Here you have the, you know, the little application style, uh, which has uh, the exact same shortcuts you could create uh, on the desktop. It has the same icons, uh, like in the quick icon bar. And uh, if you click these icons, you will get the exact same windows. But instead, in the JFX application, you will get it on your desktop. So over here, exactly the same screens with exactly the same functionalities. So what I'm going to do is uh, show the interactions between the client and the new web interface. So I have to arrange it a little bit. So over here, here we have uh, the new web interface. If you know the old one, well, it wasn't that nice. It was just a quick web interface to check if everything works. Um, so I want to show you is the interaction of devices between the different clients. This is a desktop client and over here I have, uh, I have a tablet uh, which also shows a client version uh, which is uh, special for this tablet. So what I'm going to do is uh, I have a little lamp over here. I'm going to switch it on and off. So over here I will uh, go to my devices and uh, go to the light on my desk, because this is the light on my desk. It's turned off, let's turn it on. So there it goes, and it uses this little thing that I've created a while ago. Uh, when I open the JFX client over here, and I will open up the uh, devices list. A little bit difficult to see. Here we have the devices list. And uh, this is the light on the desk, which is the same as you can see here on the tablet. 
turn it off, the light turns on, off, turn it on again. And as you can see on the tablet, the tablet version of the web interface, it changes, it changed immediately. So by the use of uh, web sockets, I can uh, update the status of uh, devices and uh, other stuff uh, directly on the web interface. So also when I turn it on via the web interface, so here, turn it on, you can see it in the client is also turned on. When I get this device in the normal web interface, I'm going to uh, components, devices, and over here I have the light on my desk. It's turned on. Uh, over here it's turned on. And I will use this here to turn it off. It's turned off. And turned off. So it works like this with all the devices. And um, yeah, quite fast. One of the cool features, I think, is the interaction between the clients uh, regarding the, the media player. And uh, because of the real-time updates, you can have real-time updates of the media player on all devices on exactly the same time. Now what I'm going to show you is uh, playing some media, uh, stopping some media and load a playlist and play it uh, across the different devices. So what I will do here is, um, I will go to my um, medias, well what I have is only the XBMC at my uh, hobby room which is running uh, in the background and if I open it, it will open the interface uh, which looks like a lot like the interface in the client it shows what it's playing right now uh, the playlist over here uh, which you can scroll and you can uh, get playlists uh, from the media device itself over here I will go to the media and here is the, the player and uh, you can see the interfaces are quite a lot uh, the same um, it's only less data on it because yeah it's a smaller screen and also here in the client I will open it uh, media media and showing the playlist over here so what I will do right now is um, I will stop it on the on the on the tablet and then you will see that it will also be stopped here in uh, the J5X client and on the web interface so I hope I can get it all at the same time so, well you can see it changing and um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to load another playlist from the web interface here and you will see that it will clear all the playlists in all the interfaces and uh, load the new one. So I'm going to start this one. They're all cleared and they're all filled on the other devices including the song currently playing. So you can see that all the changes are in uh, real time on every device on every interface. Uh, I can't show the phone interface because I'm using it to film this, so too bad for that. Um, well, I can still show you uh, deleting of items in um, the web interface or over here. So um, I will come back with another video later on and um, uh, show you some other stuff. But it was just quickly to demonstrate some new things.